Sodium chloride is one of the world's cheapest and most widely available raw materials. It's found as rock salt in vast deposits underground. And it's dissolved in all the oceans of the world. The electrolysis of sodium chloride solution is an important industrial process. Mix the salt with water, pass an electric current through it, and a variety of useful substances are produced. To work out what's going on, here's a much simpler setup in the lab. Two electrodes immersed in sodium chloride solution are connected to a power supply. The electrodes are made of carbon. They're supported by an insulated hook. See what happens when an electric current is passed through the solution. What evidence is there that chemical reactions are taking place? Bubbles appear around both electrodes, a sign that gases are being produced. To collect the gases, a test tube full of sodium chloride solution is placed over each electrode. Gas displaces the solution and collects in the top of the tube. So, what are the gases? Both are either very pale or colourless, but they can be identified by simple tests. The gas collecting at the positive electrode is tested with damp blue litmus paper. It goes red and quickly bleaches white. The gas is chlorine. The gas collecting at the negative is tested with a lit splint. It pops, a sure sign that this gas is hydrogen. So, why does the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution produce hydrogen and chlorine? Imagine you can see the charged particles in solution. There are sodium ions, which are positive, and chloride ions, which are negative. The others are present in water, positive hydrogen ions and negative hydroxide ions. These different charged particles are all free to move. Once the power supply is switched on, the positive ions are attracted to the negative electrode. The negative ions move towards the positive. Sodium and hydrogen compete to gain electrons. The hydrogen ions win out. They lose their positive charge and form bubbles of hydrogen gas. Competition also happens at the positive electrode. This time, chloride ions win out, losing their negative charge and forming bubbles of chlorine gas. Industrially, the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution can provide us with many useful materials. Chlorine is used as a disinfectant in swimming pools. Hydrogen is used as rocket fuel and the sodium hydroxide solution left behind is used in the manufacture of bleach. <laughs>